Oh, the story is um, Carlos. Good morning, guys. Welcome to another video. It looks so dark, y'all. I'm so sorry if it's dark. It's 10:31 right now, and I'm on my way to CarMax because I'm getting my car appraised today. Yeah, we getting Lexi appraised. I'm gonna see how much I could get for my girl because I am looking into getting a new car. So if y'all see this video, then I got my new car. Hey guys, so I got the appraisal, the offer or whatever. I went to pick up my babe. Say hey babe. <laughs> so now we're on our way to the dealership to go look at these trucks. But yeah, I'm super excited y'all. So hopefully we walk away with a new car today. I'm feeling real good though. Like I'm feeling real good. This is really nice. I like it. It's just too long. Like, I already told you, I ain't. The regular would be the biggest I would go because I'm scared. I'll knock the joint aside some guy. <laughs> but it's really nice. Let me actually get out so I can show you. But, guys, this is the cheap. Like, this is what it's looking like. It's so. Okay, actually, oh, now no, it's getting. So yeah, this is what it's looking like, y'all. It's so beautiful. Like literally, y'all, if they had the regular one like this, I would definitely get it. But this one is too long for me. Like this is what they have. Like I don't have kids for a day on third row. And the sunroof, it's like so bright. Y'all, my bad for the background noise, but the cheap didn't work out. So here's another day of car shopping. Oh yeah, you <laughs> Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it is nice, yeah. Like I got some R7s on the lot now. No, 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 not at this point. It's gonna pass out a little bit. Hey guys, welcome to another day of car shopping. We're gonna go to Nissan so we can check out these cars. Yeah, my offer for CarMax expires today at the end of their business day. So hopefully we find a car that we enjoy so we can get a new car. Y'all, I literally forgot my camera in my car when we went to go test drive that car, but and I wasn't completely sold on that car. I'm sorry. Like, I know it's a 2022 Sentra, but it wasn't giving me the excitement that I wanted. Like, literally, when I was in that car, I was like, okay. Plus, they didn't have the white one. They just sold it. Like, if I would have came, like, a few hours earlier, they probably would have had it. But they don't... They didn't have it. They only had Midnight Black, which the black was cool. Like, I like the black on black. Because when I was test driving the other cars, it just gave me excitement. I don't know why, but, like, it just, like, it, I was excited to drive it. But, anyway, we're going to go to Honda now and see what they have. So, hopefully, I could, you know, like the cars so we could get a car today. But I just showed y'all a car, right? I showed y'all a car. I showed y'all a car. So we did go to Honda, and y'all, literally, I had the attitude of my life. <laughs> so we was doing all the financing, paperwork, all of that financial shit. Boring, boring, boring. They tell me my numbers. It wasn't, you know, it, it was what it was. So now we're on our way to carmax because i haven't selling my car today today's the last day to sell my car so we're going to do that and then we're going to go to the bank right after that 
hopefully things could be quick -y. like quick snap 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 done 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 so then i could come back here and get my car hey y'all so it's the next day i look crazy i got my bonnet on but i'm here to tell you what happened yesterday okay because yesterday was very terrible so okay i'm gonna take it all the way back so y'all you already know i just turned 21 i got my credit cards when i was 19 i want to say yeah the beginning of 2020 and then when i bought my car when i bought lexi my first car ever that i purchased i purchased her all cash by myself so no financing no car no nothing like that nothing that could build my credit so i didn't have anything built in my credit just those credit cards so when i went to these places to go look for a car it was very hard because first of all my credit is not established i'm not you know i haven't had credit cards for a long time nothing was building my credit blase blase so literally it's like i'm going there i don't know i don't know but i don't know what i was thinking but it was not going as planned so my job i went to three no i didn't go to three so i went to more than three but three of the places i went to pull my credit you know for the finance and stuff so the first one i went to the audi dealership in arlington because i saw this q5 online i was like oh my god i have to see it like i really want to see it so um, i went there loved the car like y'all loved it so bad like i wanted it right then and there so then we started talking about pricing and I'm glad that my boyfriend was there because I don't know nothing about APR. I know y'all probably like, you're grown. You're supposed to know about APR. Y'all, I don't know nothing about APR. Literally, I don't. So I'm glad that he was there. So he was there to tell me if there was a fucked up deal or not. You know, you get what I'm saying? So yeah, so fell in love with the car. We talked number. Yeah, they came out with some book, like some BS. Literally, my boyfriend was like, what you're about to pay month to month is ridiculous like for how much the car is going for right now so i was like oh my god like i was so sad i was like oh. so sad right so that was the first dealership we went to um and we pulled my credit for that the second dealership we went to well we actually didn't go to it i actually called on the phone because i saw an audi a4 on carmax that i was looking into so i called them he ran my um credit for the financing mind you that car is getting shipped to the dealership close to me so they said it's supposed to be out here on october 2nd i was like okay like i didn't stop them from shipping it because mind you when i like the way carmax you know do their business if you reserve it like that's like nobody could look at it nobody could look at it nobody could see it nobody could buy it so when they're shipping it and stuff like that, it's like really like mm, I've reserved it. So it's still reserved out of my name. So I could still go look at it. Okay, so that's the second one. Then the third dealership we went to was Nissan. And I was like, uh-uh. Like when I got into the, the car, it wasn't giving me no excitement. Like I know it was a 2022. Literally, I think it had 11 miles on it. <laughs> like literally, that's probably the test driving miles. But it wasn't giving me the excitement that I wanted. It was just like that. Like. And then plus they didn't have the color that I wanted like they just sold it like soon as I walked up in there like they pulled the white car around because somebody bought it and they only had midnight black which the midnight black wasn't bad it looked like a daggone fierce ass car because black on black yeah but we touched over it I was just like yeah take me back to the dealership I'm gonna drop this off because it wasn't given so then the fourth dealership we went to was Honda actually and there let me tell you about that experience so we go there i'm looking at the cars on the lot because i was like i'm gonna look at this one you know it's white because y'all i wanted a white car i wanted a white car it had to be white so i was looking at the car we was about to test drive it but it ain't had no gas in it i know what's wrong with it, it ain't got no gas in it <laughs> so we could have test drive that one so we um went inside of a, a cord a 2021 accord i believe we test drove that it was nice it was cool it was blue though i would never get a blue car i'm sorry and then we came back and we test drove the 2019 i was like bruh take me back like i don't like the 2019 honda civic like it wasn't no no 
So then he was like, when, once we get back to the dealership, let you get inside of a HRV because that's the same as the new newer Civics that we get in. Because he said, we're supposed to get them today, but I don't know what time they're supposed to come in. So y'all, he takes us around to the back, you know, where the new cars is. And he's like, oh, we already got the Civics in. And so we went over there, y'all. I saw this beautiful powder blue, like blue gray. Oh my gosh, I was like, oh. He opened the door because first of all, the keys were not even programmed because they just got them in. So he opened the door for me and stuff like that. I looked inside. I was like, yeah, this is it. This is it. This is it. Like, take me where y'all do the financing. So then, you know, we do the financing and stuff like that. I've accepted, you know, what they gave me. I'm like, okay, that's cool. So then we had to go back to CarMax to sell my car. This is where the story gets up okay so uh because yesterday was the last day i could redeem my offer for the appraisal that they gave me so i went to them sold my car everything like that she was rushing um you know to be honest i told her i said hey like can you get me out at least by five because then you go to the bank like to go put this check in my bank account and she's like yeah i got you like she was really like helpful like she was really nice so they gave me my tags back they gave me my registration back and they gave me my check i was out of there went to the bank like literally three minutes to spare went to the bank and I was like yeah can you um put this in my bank account blase blase and i'm over here ready like ready like i'm ready ready so they put it in the bank and they was like yeah um so this is gonna be on hold for seven business days i said uh-huh she said yeah it's gonna be on hold for seven business days and I'm like, uh, why? And she was like, I mean, that's what we normally do for, like, larger checks and stuff that we get. I was like, what? I said, is there any way you can speed up the process? <laughs> She's like, like, no, it's gonna have to, like, I'm like, what the? Bruh, I left the bank and started bawling my eyes out. Like, my boyfriend was like, what's wrong? Like, I started crying. Yang, because that was like what I was gonna use to get my car. Which don't bank on that, y'all. Literally, I'm so stupid. Why would I bank? I don't. I'm stupid. The other story is um carless, and I'm in the house right now, so <laughs> I'm carless. I'm grateful for my boyfriend because he's letting me use his car because he has two. So it's not the end of the world. God is just telling us to wait a little bit longer. Wait a little bit longer. Something is going to come your way. Something is going to come your way that you might like 10 times more. So, yeah, I'm trying to be positive now. Of course, yesterday I couldn't be positive because I was like, bruh. Literally, I sold my Lexi, like my car that I had since, you know, forever. And I'm without a daggone car because the bank. But that's just it. So I'm gonna see y'all when we go more car shopping. Guys, we on the new car. Ooh. Okay, babe, I'm turning my seat on now. Uh, okay, let's get out this parking lot. My battery is dying, unfortunately, guys. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm gonna show y'all the car in a little bit. Yeah, I realized that I did not finish the video, okay? So I'm in my car right now. Um, because I'm about to go to my aunt's house so I can show her it. Um, but y'all, this car is everything and more that I ever wanted. Like, literally, the process was just so stressful. Like, I gave up so many times. But, um, and I was about, and, and I was about to, like, settle, even though the car that I was going to settle for wasn't a bad car, like, it was real pretty, like, I didn't feel like I was settling, but it's just, once I got into the car that I got, I was like, oh, baby, yeah, this is it, she is it, she is it, mm. hold on one second, y'all. So I have to actually get like a tripod for my car because Lexi, she had the um, 
like a space where I could put her at, like on the dashboard, and she will stay. Sometimes she be sliding over though, but you get what I'm saying. Like it was a dip. This car doesn't have um, any space where I could put the camera at. All right, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all a tour of my car. This is it. She's white. We love her. And she's a S line so her, her, her. So you open her up. She has the Audi symbol right here. Once you get in on the right side, of course you're gonna see all the boring stuff like the lock, um, how you set your seats, um, the windows. You're gonna see like how you do your mirrors and stuff like that. So you can turn it in. Um, right here we have your lights. So I have it on auto because. I don't know why. I usually turn it off, but I just leave it on auto now. Right here, you have your trunk button, so you can open your trunk and your indoor storage steering wheel. On your steering wheel, you have your navigation, like you could press it when you're driving, and you could be like, "Hey, yeah, pull up this." You have your heated steering wheel button right here which I love because it's getting cold out now. So that's a plus. This is controlling your volume. So you just go up, down, how high you want it. I mean, how loud you want it. And then also these buttons right here. It's like if you want to skip the song, you know, you get it. Answer the phone. You want to talk to your car. Um, Right here, this has to do with the dashboard. So when I turn the car on, I'm gonna show you um, the buttons for this. So this is all in a dash. Of course, this is your um, blinkers. That's so boring, y'all. Y'all already know, blinkers. I don't know what this is. And also, I don't know what these are too. Like this right here is the windshield wiper, of course. Well, she's a press to start. Don't mind my KFC, I just got it. Um, but she's a press to start and it's glowing red because she's a sports mom. And this is how she's looking. So this is my dash, y'all. My dash is digital, which I love. I didn't really like get into it until my boyfriend was too pressed about it. So I was like, okay, it has to be it like it has to be it i also like this car because it tells me like if i'm close to somebody and if somebody's in my rear i mean i'm my, my blind spot all of that so this is the gps right here um so whenever you put in you know where you want to go it shows up right here and you don't have to be looking at your phone or nothing like that so like i said this over here controls the view and everything like that so if you want the speed to be bigger you could make it bigger if you want to make it smaller you can make it smaller what is this okay so this just shows you everything you need to know um about the car i guess and up here i like how we have the screen it tells you what i'm playing of course poetic justice plus <laughs> um so i love the screen up here i had to have the screen right here this is to control the temperature so right now i have it off but everything right here is digital too so you could touch it oh you could touch it oh no it's just like because i touched this that's cool okay but yeah and of course i have heated seats for both sides me and the passenger which i love that um this right here is drive select so um you could change which car it your yeah, um what your car is driving like so comfort auto dynamic and individual i have it in auto right now because i mean i don't be driving that fast well i don't purposely drive that fast but dynamic is like when you want to drive like sports edition i guess you want to be in sport but right here i always turn this off when i get in the car because i hate the start stop like when you stop at a red light and it turns off your car i hate that um this i guess the traction or whatever i don't press none of these i don't press this i don't this to turn off the display so you want to turn it off i don't know why you would want to but anyway uh born stuff usb cigarette lighter i love that the um cup holders glow so that's a plus these buttons are for the radio of course right here this section all controls your display so you want the navigation you press it up and it pops up 
you want the telephone like your contacts you press it down you tell her who you want to call you want the radio I never have the radio on but yeah you want the media you can put the media all of that so this menu is going to show you everything you need to know about the car you know all your settings how you want the sound bass all of that yeah back of course you already know we're back i don't even have to tell you and this is your dial right here so it this is how you go about doing your car i don't know and then these two right here has to do with like more settings and stuff like that right here of course your gear change y'all probably like oh this is different if you're not a Audi owner or what other car has this I don't even know but I like this because literally you want to drive just go down you want to go neutral go up one reverse and then of course I have a reverse camera right here it tells you yeah and of course it beeps too um but yeah I want to drive all of that and then also you press it down if you want to go in sport and now your car is in sport and press it back down if you want to go back and drive and then also you press this button right here if you want to go and park and when you're on a hill it automatically turns this on so this is your parking brake you press it up and then also press it down when you want to get out this right here is your volume of course you press it down if you want to turn off the volume and you press it sideways like this way that way if you want to change the song uh the glove department box this one is not that deep like my other one and also it has like the discs in here also like the cd player and stuff i guess yeah the cd player but this glove department box does not have that much room like this car doesn't have that much storage to be honest so like your armrest usually has storage my armrest is a wireless charger so that's you know you put your phone right here it charges you see it's going to charge your phone um so i like that but it just i don't like that it doesn't have any storage where i could store stuff at and it also has another usb and a auxiliary cord port let's go up here so these are my lights you could touch the light turn it on turn it off then I also have a beautiful sunroof, so I could put it back how far you want it. Hey, my next car had to have a sunroof, didn't I? And here we go. Back seats, they both have heated seats also, which I like. Let's move this party to my house so I can finish this video out. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so we come to the end of this video. Y'all, thank you for coming along with me on this roller coaster of car shopping because, y'all, it was stressful. It was real stressful. I got my hopes up plenty of times and literally I got what I wanted at the end. Like, I, it has the sunroof, it's white, it's real nice. Like, it has a lot of features. So, yeah. I love it so far. I think that's it. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe because you know you want to become a this family. Like, but um, I'll see y'all in the next video.